Hello, this is Bridge Round with Divine Essentials. Hi guys, how are you? So we're doing a little bit of a different video tonight. Um, basically, I had someone reach out to me recently. Her name is Rose from the Spiritual Goodies Company. And basically, it is like a subscription box. And you would sign up and get a different box every month. And they are just um, different items in, in the box every month. So I pulled up their website here so that I don't like mess anything up. But basically, um, on their website, you can see it's, it's Spiritual Goodies spiritual-goodies.com and they have like the sneak peeks on the website that's like what's in the box of this month so you can always kind of check it out to see like do I want to get this box um, and they give you like a, a little bit of a rundown and they tell you like what the um, the retail value of the items are they also have affirmations and themes each month. So this month is the moon is powerful and connecting with her rhythm. I find wisdom and truth within myself. So you can harness the power energy of the moon phases. This box comes equipped with six magical items, a moon gazing meditation, plus info and tips to help you to connect with each phase of the moon. The retail value is $99. And connecting with the powerful moon energy can help you get more in tune with yourself and even answer questions about the rhythms and patterns within your own mind, body, and soul. Working with the moon can not only bring in the, and the things you wish for, but can also remove the things you no longer need. And they begin shipping on 8-11, so this is the August box. Um, and then they have another one that comes out for next month. Um, and I did talk to her a little bit, so I might have another one next month from her. I'm not 100% sure yet. We don't know. But if we do, um, I may be able to do like something special with you guys. So basically, um, this one has a selenite moon in it. So it's like, again, get the... Um, the moon theme you know and it's it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here so it's showing me like there's the there's the moon um, and it tells you like the retail value of it and how this all works is basically you choose your subscription so our premier spiritual subscription box starts at $39 a month you can cancel anytime so if you see like a box that you love you can be like hey I want to get that box and then cancel <laughs> um, and it's a $99 value so you're getting it for $39.99 so you you know save by getting the box um, and we also have prepaid three, six, 12 month discounted plans. So you can get even more of a discount and say you're going to do three months. And if you love those three months, sign on for another three months or another six months or a whole year. Um, and I think probably depending on how long you sign up for will, will dictate like the discount that you get. But each box will contain five to seven items or quality items handpicked to nurture your spirit and enhance your spiritual practice. All items are cruelty free and the box ship free the box ship via USPS around the 11th of the month so the 11th of the month the box is on its way to you and then you would probably get it you know depending on where you live from the company would probably dictate how long it takes to get it um, and then you discover everything you need to grow your spiritual toolbox and you share pictures using the hashtag hashtag spiritual underscore goodies and you could receive a free box. So um, if you do sign up or you do try out this company, make sure that you take a picture of your box and share that hashtag on like Instagram and stuff so that if they see it, you can win a free box. Um, so what's inside the box is spiritual growth tools and ritual items, aromatherapy, crystals, jewelry, clothing, healing bath and body products, and all types of stuff. So. Um, there's detailed inserts in the box that are helpful for like whatever that box is about. Um, you know, different crystal properties, meditations, ritual info, journal prompts, um, and suggestions on how to incorporate those items that are in your box into your spiritual practice. So I know I have a lot of people here that are always like, how can I do this? Or how can I do that? Or, you know, what, what can I get for this? Or what can I get for that? So this is almost like you know just like every month we're gonna give you something that you can do and learn from and incorporate into your stuff and if you get a box that you know there's one thing that you're not crazy about you don't have to like it's like you get like a little sampling you know and you get to test it out and then if you know you really enjoy that practice or that thing you can get more into it so it's kind of like LCM light healing in a box you know um, 
and you can discover new spiritual teachers that will provide you with additional knowledge and skills to enhance your life. And examples include podcasts, worksheets, videos, trainings, private Facebook groups, and a whole bunch of stuff. So um, a spiritual mentor box providing you the products, tools, and tips you need to nurture your spirit and bring more joy and positivity into your life. And then they have a bunch of, um, you know, feedback from the subscribers that they have here. And you can go in and you can see past boxes. You can shop um, in their shop and, and see like, oh, you know what, there's a mystery box. And then there's the November box. And then there's the October box. So it looks like you can shop, you know, um, several things right now if you wanted to. So let's open the box, okay? This is what the box looked like when I got it tonight, and I was like, what's this? Because I forget everything with my lamb brain. But um, some good news is that I just found out today that I I had gone and I was like, you know what, instead of me stressing myself out and like trying to come up with everything myself, let me see if I can like get some help. And I got approved and I have help, so I'm gonna definitely be getting laser therapy soon. Um, all right, so my brain will work again all right the first thing I have here it looks like it's like a necklace and it's got the moon on it of course um, and I think that's cute because it's like a whole little thing you know like to get you connected to the moon um, so let's see what this says here yeah it's definitely the moon necklace um, and it's got the moon you know and it says using the lunar energy of the moon can yield incredible healing results both physically and mentally, Moonlight was has holistic healing properties and is able to cleanse your mind, body, and spirit. Harness the positive energy of the moon by envisioning your goals and your dreams. And then there's a code on here too. It says use code MOON to get 20% off your next purchase. And this is with this specific company. So I feel like, you know, um, like, like they said, it's like a curated box of all different people's um, options and offers. So if you wanted to go to this company, um, it's goffjewelrydesign.com. So it's G-O-G-H jewelrydesign.com. And it has a capital G and a capital J and a capital D, but it's a www, Goff Jewelry Design, and they do moon for your 20% um, off your next purchase, okay? And this is what was in this box, it's the moon. So it's very cute. And then um, something that, you know, she did give to us for everybody. There's this cute little card that comes in the box and it says spiritual goodies. And it says use discount code divine 10 to get $10 off your first box. Okay, so this is for everybody here on the channel. If you wanna get a subscription box from spiritualgoodies.com, you go to spiritual-goodies.com and use Divine 10 and you'll be able to save $10 on your own box, okay? So instead of $39.99, it will be $29.99 and that's a good deal because you're probably going to get a lot of stuff. Oh, and then we get stickers. So this is the first sheet of stickers here. Um, you can see like they have like the crystals, they have... Um, what do they got? Like they got elephants, crystals, um, like a little, um, what do you call it? They've got rosemary, they have the, um, like the cauldron, they've got made with magic and a wand and like, um, the, uh, the thing there, this is a sage, a sage bundle. My, again, my brain is not the best, but, um, these are awesome. I love stickers. I put stickers into my, my, um, my like planner so like every month I'm like oh I'm gonna put this here or this here or I'll buy specific stickers for different things um, like I have a bunch of stickers right now for um, something I was doing last year I think it was the planner I had set up last year with you guys or the year before um, I did like a hey this is how you can do your goals for the year and blah 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 so there is a video on the channel like that and shows you like how to use your stickers and how to like decorate and do like a um, one of the uh, vision boards, I actually had just pulled out a vision board the other day from last year that I had. Um, but these would be perfect, you know, like if you wanted to do a full moon vision board where it's specifically tapped into the moon energies of the full moon and you're like, I'm going to use this full moon for this and this and this and then use these types of, you know, um, stickers to decorate 
then you have something there to do it. And you can literally just get like a plain piece of white paper, like printer paper. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be a printer board. Um, but you can, you know, use these stickers to help you with manifesting or releasing, depending on if you're doing new moon or full moon. Um, and, you know, this says, look up, get, let go, make space, celebrate, harvest, write a list of things to let go of, um, design a full moon release ceremony. So when the full moon is there, you know, you'd want to do a releasing ceremony. I'm sorry that it's not like the best um, quality lighting. There we go. That looks a little better. But like right here, this is like the full moon releasing ceremony. So at the full moon, it's a good time to release. At the new moon, it's a good time to like start to think about what you want to attract in. And these stickers are literally aligned to that. So there's like, come up with a focus word or what came to fruition or what needs another moon cycle. So like sometimes you might start something and by the next moon cycle, it's like, oh, we need another cycle because it's not fully there yet. Or, um, we got rid of half of it, but you know, there's a, there's a little bit more to let go of. Um, and then they have the moon made me do it, feel all the feels, um, create lasting changes. And then they have social check-in, um, health and body check-in, spiritual wellness check-in, career path check-in, me time check-in. So you can literally put this right on your calendar to be like, I'm gonna check in on myself at this time and this time and this time. And I know there's more stuff in here that can help you to figure out like, what's a good time for that? Um, so there's the spiritual goodies August box. The moon is powerful and connecting with her rhythm. I find wisdom and truth within myself. And then there's all this information here. So obviously I'm not gonna read all of this to you guys cause it's a lot, but um, just to like kind of give you a rundown, they basically tell you like about the, the different items in here. So they're like the, the moon phase intention board. So there's an intention board in here. There's an opalite moonstone in here. There's a crescent moon necklace, which we found, which is a $29 value. Um, then the moon planner stickers and the moon phase workbook. So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. So this is the little, um, what is this? Uh, opalite. Opalite Moonstone. Opalite is subtle yet highly energetic. It improves communication on all levels and it removes energy blockages from the chakras. Emotionally, Opalite helps by assisting during transitions of all kinds. It gives us strength in verbalizing our hidden feelings and it can also help us to be successful in business. Woohoo! Opalite is for all around healing. It stabilizes mood swings and it helps us in overcoming fatigue. Um, this stone is ideal to have with you during meditation, and you can also use this stone with your moon phase intention board. So let me get the intention board here. I believe this is the intention board. It's like a little board in here. Um, yeah, look at that. It's, so it has like different things on there. It's like a little wooden board um, that's like engraved. I actually have some like some of these boards that are bigger that I'm going to be engraving. So um, it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of synchronicity coming through just with these two items already. Like I literally just pulled out the eight inch um, boards and I was like playing with them earlier to make like the design that I'm going to put on them. And then um, this, <laughs> I was, I literally just made a video to send to somebody that I'm friends with about like mood swings and energy and um, fatigue and all of that stuff. So a lot of synchronicity coming through here, uh, but this is the intention board. Okay, so you would probably use this to say, um, I feel, I act, I trust, I, I, re I release, I see, I receive, I thank, I set, I feel. Um, and so let me see what they say exactly about that. Yeah, so you can use the crystal with that. So you could like put this crystal on a certain spot, like I trust you know, and like set an intention, like where do you want to bring more trust in or where do you want to release or what do you want to take action in? How do you want to feel? Um, you know, what, what intention are you setting? What are you receiving? What are you um, thankful for? What are you wanting to see in your life? And, you know, basically however you want to get set with your intention. Um, they do say here that um, this little board is basically at the new moon, you set your intention. The waxing crescent is you feel your intention, you relax and you breathe. 
The first quarter, you would take action that supports your intention. The waxing gibbous is, I trust the universe will help with the focus in, of my intention. Um, and then with the full moon, I release what no longer serves me and that prevents my intention from manifesting. Then the waning gibbous is, I see more clearly my intention coming to its perfect form. And then the third quarter is I receive my intention in its true form. And then the waning crescent is I give thanks to the universe, rest, reflect, and restore. And so each phase of the moon cycle brings with it special energy that you can use to enhance various aspects of your life. Place a stone on the current moon phase as a reminder of what actions you need to be taking to manifest your goals and desires. So this board acts as like a crystal grid and you can place another stone in the middle to amplify your intentions. Quartz is a great one. Quartz is an amplifier, magnifier. Anyways, I love quartz. Like, I'm obsessed with quartz. So if it was me, I'd probably get some quartz to amplify and magnify. Like, if I wanted to bring more business in, I would set my intention. I'd be like, I set my intention to amplify and magnify my business. And then as we go to that next phase, I'll be like, all right, I feel aligned to the business getting expansion and I feel like excited about that and I feel confident in that and I feel good about that. And then with the I act, that would be like a time where it's like, all right, let me promote my business. Let me like tell people about my business so that something can happen. And then I'm gonna trust that that action I just took is gonna take you know form it's gonna it's gonna help it's gonna reach the right people and then I'm gonna release resistance and I'm gonna release my fears and my doubts my insecurities and I'm gonna release anything that's causing resistance from that manifesting and then I'm gonna start to see that happening and I'm gonna receive the abundance of that I'm gonna have an influx of orders and then I'm gonna be thankful and grateful for that and then by the next cycle I get to set a whole new intention where maybe I want to have clear communication in my relationship so again you would feel and go through all of those those cycles but this this board can literally help you to know when and how and what to do at the right time and these stickers can be in your journal telling you like all right this is this day this is that day so you'll know what day to change your little book you know um, or change your little crystal on these these little settings here so it all works together um, and then we have a dream catcher which is really nice it's big in here it's all wrapped up but it is um, a moon star dream catcher it's got a $20 value says this unique dream catcher is handmade with natural blue gray feathers wood beads and quality yarns get ready for sweet dreams this lunar dream catcher originally called sacred hoops um, dream catchers go all the way back to the Ouija <laughs> Ouija Ouija tribe and our Native American traditions meant to promote peace positive energy and used to protect sleep sleepers from nightmares and as the moon recedes withdraws and renews each month so do we we travel across different emotional states the same way the moon travels around the earth let your moon phase dream catcher bring awareness of the natural rhythms to your life so i tell people that a lot like i'm like you, you should do like a, a moon tracker or um even like like if you're the divine feminine um, and you have your cycle every month, you know, like, like I know I get my period, right? Um, even if you're not in that cycle anymore, like maybe you've gone through that change and, and you don't have that cycle, you're still going to be impacted by the energies collectively. So there may be like, um, they say it's like a, almost like a season type thing every month for us. It's like we, we're in our winter, we're in our fall, we're in our um, spring, we're in our summer. And it's like you might be more active one time of the month and then more withdrawn another time of the month. You may have a lot more energy and a lot more confidence and feel really good about yourself at one point and then feel kind of like, eh, don't come at me. You know, like um, like the hag. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm like the hag, leave me alone. But it's good to know when those times are and you can track it you know, with, with, by just paying attention to the moon and being like, oh, you know what? Every time the moon's full, like I can't sleep and I'm a maniac and I'm doing all this stuff in my business and I'm getting all these ideas and I want to do this and do that. So then you can start to like put your life into order by that too. Um, there's people out there who literally just like, that's their whole thing is they try to help you to figure out how should you be navigating your like agenda? Like what, what appointments should you be making 
and what like things should you be setting up for you to do on this day or that day because like if you're setting up all these appointments for the the week that you're exhausted and you have no creative inspiration and you're just like depleted and you're in your winter you know hag stage you might not do as well as you would have if you had put that out a week into your creative summer or spring you know energies and feeling great and feeling powerful and feeling like yeah I'm beautiful and I'm amazing and I have all these creative ideas and it really is a powerful thing so um, it doesn't matter if you have your cycle or not just pay attention to what the moon is doing and how you feel and if you track that along for a couple of months you'll see that you'll see a consistent you know thing that's playing out each month you may fluctuate a little bit like a couple of days but women are pretty much on point with that and you might get influenced by other women too like you join a um you know like a sisterhood and you're with all these new women all the time they may impact like your cycle they may impact like when you're tired or when you're energetic or what you're feeling at that time so keep that in mind too but definitely you know start paying attention to that because it does make a big difference and it can really make a big difference in your business can make a big difference in just your day-to-day -day life of like navigating you know things and making it easier like I'm not gonna book myself for all this craziness unless I feel like all right my energy is gonna be good for that um, so this is the dream catcher and um, I like this it's got the little um, star here and then it's I, I like these ones I make dream catchers but I've never been able to master this um, you know like the, the half moon style I can make the round ones but I can't do the half moon style so it's very very it's it's like doing them once you do it a couple times you're like oh my god this is so awesome but like Doing it can be very tricky. Um, I tried to teach people how to do it. Some people pick it right up and some people, you just, they just don't get it. <laughs> um, but this is really unique, you know, having the half the moon. I like that. And you would hang this somewhere in your room, like like on that banister, you know, would be a good place for me to hang it so that it, the energy can go through it. And like this basically traps the nightmares or like the scary beings or the things that might come in the middle of the night. I have a little tiny one over there I don't know if you, yeah you can it's like right there but it's um tiny so I don't know how well you can see it but basically I can hang this up now and have a bigger one so that comes in your kit for this month and then they have this which is a selenite moon and selenite I was laughing because I saw like um, a little bit of description of it on the website earlier so I actually have some of these too <laughs> Um, I got some of these recently. I just haven't had a chance to like share them or like show anybody, but um, I have hearts as well. I got um, this is the one that just came in the box, <laughs> and then I have one right here that I just got recently. It's it's not it's not as curved as theirs. This is actually better, um, but I did just get one, and then I got this heart one. I actually have I have three hearts and three um, moons but I just think it's funny that I have all these things I got pie stones as well this one's not as bad this one's got the curve but this one's really curved this one's a good one um, when I looked at the website that I got these from they all looked like they were gonna be curved and everything then I got them and they're kind of like not they didn't look as good as this does so this is a good quality one they actually like have it curved the way that it should be and they're like a little bowl um, so these are pie stones like the people who've done the moon a key with me um, I got these specifically for those people like if anybody doesn't have the pie stone yet and they're wanting to get one um, but I have to post them but basically that's like the size that they like these hold you know like they have like this little engraving in there but you could do little stones in there um, like you could do like a set of earrings like I've been putting earrings in those over there because I have little earrings I have little um, keychains I have um, like little necklaces and stuff over there that I've been like keeping all together but that's that's about the size that they fit and then I have the labradorite moon that kind of fits in there too basically you could put a couple crystals in there sorry this is my labradorite moon feels appropriate to have it out at this time <laughs>
but you can put your crystals in there, put whatever in there, really. Uh, but they say here that selenite is a, moon, a stone of mental and energetic clarity. That's why I was laughing, because I'm like, I need that. Um, and it is named for the moon goddess Selene, the Greek goddess of the moon, probably because it resembles the light of the full moon. Both the full moon um, and selenite purify energy. So, like, that's the thing about selenite, too. Like, if you've got crystals or you've got something that you want to cleanse or purify yourself, your energy, your aura, having this around is very, very, like, cleansing, you know? You just put this somewhere near your stone or, like, touching your stones, and it's going to clear it, okay? Um, and again, like the same thing for you. If you've got something going on, you want to clear yourself, clear your energy, clear your aura, this, you know, just put it on your body, put it on the chakra that you want to clear, put it on your third eye if you want to clear your mind. Um, but let's see what else they have to say here. Uh, you can wash away impurities of the mind, including negative thoughts, mental blocks, um, and help against insomnia. It is thought that selenite assists us in communication with whatever higher power we seek. For some... Um, this spiritual communication means deep soul searching during times of decision making and uncertainty. A crystal that should be in every... Oh, wait, did I say that right? For some... Yeah, okay. Um, it helps you communicating with whatever higher power and getting, you know, guidance with whatever decision you're trying to make. It's a crystal that should be in every home, in every workplace. Selenite dispels confusion, purifies the auric fields, eliminates unwanted forces from the home and promotes a calm mind during meditation using selenite will bring about an increased understanding of the one one subconscious um yeah one subconscious and then people who struggle with erratic emotions will find that selenite gives them a sense of stability selenite does not hold any negative energies and never needs to be charged you can use this stone to keep the rest of your stone collection charged and free of congested energy. And then there's the moon gazing meditation. So I feel like that's this, like here. And then there's a spiritual teacher spotlight. So it says, meet Yasmin Boland. Um, for the past two decades, she has been mixing astrology with the law of attraction, meditation, moon teaching, chakras, chants, angels, and more. Yasmin's books, Moonology, Astrology, Made Easy, and Angel Astrology 101 have all been published with Hay House and have been included in Amazon's top 10 astrology bestsellers. Yasmin's dedicated to teaching her students on a spiritual path how to use astrology to connect with the divine. Yasmin offers tons of great resources on her website including including a quiz to find out your astrology style uh, free weekly horoscopes and access to the moonlight collective with resources covering the entire spectrum of the moon manifesting to charge your life for the better and to show you how to consciously create your life so you go to yasminboland.com it's y-a-s-m-i-n b-o-l-a-n-d.com and you can help she can help you with that and then the moon gazing meditation, um, this is a technique known as the tr trataka, which means fixed gazing. The object that you gaze upon can be just about anything, a candle flame, a campfire, a pitcher. In this meditation, you're going to gaze at the moon. So you can practice this technique when, whenever the moon is available. And you can also snap a picture of the moon so that you have something to gaze upon um, when the moon is not available. You get comfortable outside and in a safe spot where you have a clear view. And if you can't get outside, find a window that lets you see. And then you begin by closing your eyes and slowing your breath. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose for a count of three seconds. Hold your breath for the same length of time and then slowly release it. And as you exhale, imagine the moonlight washing over you along with your breath. I'm laughing because the last video I made on this channel literally what did i say i was like breathe in for three seconds hold it for three seconds breathe out for three seconds <laughs> like that was exactly what i was like you want to do that um so i just find it funny always a synchronicity um so yes you would breathe that energy of the moon over you um and then do 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 visualize it brightening up and slowly easing any tension or distressing thoughts Continue breathing slowly and now open your eyes and gaze at the moon. Note its current phase and specific details that interest you. The color, the light, or the shape, or the visible features. 
carefully relax your eyes or your focus so that you can stare at the moon steadily without blinking. And with your eyes closed, look up towards the space between your eyebrows, like your third eye area. Um, and then an imprint of the moon should appear. It may be a different color than the actual moon, and that's okay. You should experience some type of impression from your gazing. This is your object of focus now. Keep watching that impression of the moon until it starts to disappear after a few moments. Open your eyes and gaze at the moon again. You have just completed one cycle. If you don't see the impression, that's okay. Focus on your breathing during that time. And when your eyes have recaptured, uh, recuperated, open them and repeat the whole cycle, starting with the gazing at the moon, continuing anywhere for three to 10 minutes. And once you're finished, reflect on how you feel. Is it peaceful, energized, ready to sleep? Um, plenty of people find moon gazing restful and healing. Um, making a regular habit of moon watching or watching the moon can boost awareness of the natural world and add a level of wonder and peace that transcends what you might achieve with a more typical meditation. And when we did the um, moon key, it's kind of like the same practice that we did with the um, the like the mirror gazing. And it was able to like, you know, see your past life self or see like a spirit self that like superimposed over you. Similar gaze is that where it's like you just kind of like rest your eyes, but you're not. It's the same thing like when we want to see our aura. I, I have the aura video. I have the like I'm I don't know how many of you guys have seen those other things. I'm trying to give you like a frame of reference of like some other stuff that we've done that's similar. But like if you wanted to see your aura you would gaze at one spot but like just relax your eyes and not stare at it so much more so just kind of like uh, like go into like a weird place and then because you're relaxed and you're kind of like oh uh, you start to see like the energy around that it's the same type of concept here but you're allowing that moon energy to imprint and then when you close your eyes and you bring that gaze up to here you should see the moon like you know like you probably had that happen where you've looked it's like if you if you look at a light long enough and then you close your eyes you still see the ring of the light or the light bulb or something of it it's the same type of concept that they're having you do with that but they want you to be nice and relaxed when you're looking at that and you know make a practice out of it so those are the different parts of the book um or of the box for this month and there is a little card in here again that says the moon is powerful in connecting with her rhythm. I find wisdom and truth within myself. So you could put this somewhere for your affirmation of that month. You know, I always say like if you're going to do affirmations, put them on a mirror or put them at the door. Put them somewhere you're going to see them regularly so that you are consistently saying that, that thing over and over and over. Because an affirmation is, is only so powerful as many times as you say it. So um, that is the August box from Spiritual Goodies. And again, make sure that if you want to go check out their website, um, use the code so that you can save $10 and, um, you know, you can sign up for next month's. It's Divine 10. We'll get you $10 off. And I might be having the next month one to um, open with you guys. And um, that would be fun if you have yours. I can give you some tips and tricks on what's going on inside of that box. Um, but whatever you want to do and thank you again to rose thank you again to spiritual goodies for sending this box to us and um thank you guys very much for joining me in opening the box and hopefully you guys have a good august and i will see you again soon in Munich. namaste oh.